I want to talk about the derivative function. Let's say we're looking at a function like f of x equals x squared plus 1. I have a graph here. In a previous example, we uh, found the derivative of this function at x equals 3. And we used the definition of the derivative, and we got 6. Now, it turns out you could do that at pretty much any point. You can find the derivative at negative 1. It turns out to be negative 2. And you can find the derivative at a half, and it turns out to be 1. This function and many functions have derivatives at every value of x in their domain. And so that gives us um, the notion of the derivative function. This f prime of x defines a function of x. For every value x you think of, you can come up with the derivative value. So that's a, that's a new function that we call the derivative function for f of x. We're going to be talking about derivative functions for a while. And the idea is that given a function, you want to find its derivative. That is, its derivative function. And usually that means finding an, uh, a formula for the derivative function that doesn't involve the limit. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next few episodes.